The master of total disaster, your host with the most, the Necro! Thank you <laughs> Welcome to hell. Thank you all! <laughs> <laughs> and joining me in this grim hour, in the Necro sexual's there. I have Steve Grimmett from Grim Reaper! So Steve, your band broke up for the first time in 1988. We had a lot of legal shit going on and uh, that came the, the demise of the band, unfortunately. A demise. They would see Grim Reaper laying dormant, but yet like a massive, throbbing black phoenix. You have risen from the ashes. Why have you continued to carry the Grim Reaper flag into battle after all these years? Our audience demand it. I think that's why we're back. Because there aren't... The bands are not writing old school rock. And the kids love it. You reached new heights of brutality with the theatricality. Yeah. The scenery. That was so metal in that one video where you're riding the boat through the castle. <laughs> It was a, a stunning show. Raise the horns of death. <laughs> Are you watching at home? You may raise your horns to the computer screen before you to absorb our powers of destruction. The crystal ball on the wall. Yes. So, Steve, your wife is your tour manager. Yeah, she, well, she's my manager. Yes. Yeah, so. You're managed by your wife. <laughs> yeah. Behind every grim man is an even grimmer woman of dark desire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, if only you knew. Because she's, she's training to become a lay preacher. Oh, is she? Yeah, is so she she's the other side. A preacher of darkness. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have my way with her. <laughs> and Steve, I must say, your hair looks extra ravishing. Thank you very much. What is your secret for having grim golden locks? I just wash and go, really. I do. That's it. May I touch exactly. your hair to absorb its powers? You certainly may. <laughs> I have absorbed <laughs> the grim hair powers of Steve Grimm. Women ask me, how do I get my hair to look like that? And so you, you, you fuck around with it too much, you know? And that's it. Well, Don't fuck with it. Don't fuck with the hair. What is your secret to staying ancient and grim? I can't say it's drugs, and I can't say it's alcohol. I think I'm just destined to be this way. What was your relationship with your parents like growing up? Cool. 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 Still is. The necrosexual <coughs> was an only child. And it's not a phase I'm going through, Dad. It's a phase to the grave. If you will, I would like to commence a black mental seance. Please hold my hand for a second. Feel the, the dark energy. In the name of all that is evil and grim, may the posers tremble before our necrosexual might. And may Grim Reaper destroy the weak. And bring forth heavy metal might! <laughs> if there's one way you could be remembered by, how would you be remembered through the time? I'd like to quote something from a. from an. Uh, I forget, I'm sorry, I can't remember his fucking name. On my gravestone, it should say Steve Grimmett died. And why not? <laughs> I hope it says in my gravestone, necrosexual. He drank a lot of Franzia. <laughs> Franzia. <laughs> Cheers to that. And at this point, in this necrosexual encounter, we will commence the black metal pose off. This is black metal. This is black metal. <laughs> <laughs> this is Black Metal. This has been the Necrosexuals Lair with Steve Grimmett from Grim Reaper. 
I am the necrosexual, and I will see you in hell. <laughs> see ya!